What's up Iconic fam, JB here with Iconic Mods and today we got another hot review video for the Shh series. That's right, this one's for my late night gamers as well as those who work in an office setting. You might need to be a little bit on the quiet side. So grab your drink, grab your snack, sit back, chillax, and let's get into it. This is the Vixen wireless keyboard and mouse combo. However, for this particular video, I'm going to be primarily focusing on the keyboard. Now I picked this keyboard up a few weeks ago, and if you saw the, my review video of the Sungwoo Silent Keyboard, you know it left a lot to be desired. So as my search continued, I stumbled across this combo on Amazon, and after reading a few reviews and seeing it had a 4.5 out of 5 star review, I was like, bump it, let's give it a shot. This keyboard is an all plastic, lightweight, low profile, silent, wireless monster. That's what she said. It's rocking 105 chiclet style keys, and yes, you heard that right, I did say silent, but shh, warn it later. Now, it comes with a 2.5 gigahertz nano receiver, 12 multimedia function keys, as well as compatibility with Mac OS and PC. Sadly, however, if you're using it with Mac OS, some of the multimedia functionality will not be available. Speaking of the multimedia functionality, to engage that, you simply press the right function key, as well as whatever corresponding multimedia functionality key you would like to engage. All right, measuring in at five and a half inches deep by 17 and a half inches wide and just under two inches in height, this is a very slim profile, which also brings up the first of a very short list of complaints I have with this particular keyboard. Being the fact that it is so short in stature, I expect there to be some kind of assistance or height adjustment via either some flip out feet or some rubber feet or something. But sadly, you get absolutely none of that with this. Not happening, sorry. Now this particular keyboard is also a featherweight. It's made completely out of plastic, which means it lacks some of the stability it would have if it had an included aluminum plate. Which means it leads to my next small gripe with this keyboard. It does have some flex. Now, however, that does not mean that it's flimsy by any means, and it should hold up very well under normal wear and tear. Just don't rage quit, decide to take your keyboard and sling it across a room or against a wall and expect it to survive, because that would just be stupid. Now, there's a few more things I'd like to point out with this particular keyboard. It is a chiclet style keyboard, which means it's very low profile. It's, it's got a good tactile response to the keys when you do click them. However, if you're like me and you plan on using this for gaming and late night stuff, because it is chiclet style keys, there's no indicator for the WASP key setup to differentiate it from the rest of the keys. So it will feel the same, which is another gripe that I have with the keyboard. And the very last gripe I have with it correlates with that as well kind of corresponds with it which is there's no rgb so yeah that's that oh, you know i love me some rgb anyway so there's no indicator to differentiate the was keys from the rest of the keys as well as no rgb backlighting to help you see what's going on so with that being said you are going to need some sort of light to be able to see what's going on when you first start using this keyboard until you make that adjustment to know exactly what the keys are without having to look and all that other stuff. It's a minor adjustment to make, but it is an adjustment. I just felt I needed to make you guys aware of that. That being said, the keyboard, in my opinion, is pretty good. So we'll review some of the pros and cons of the keyboard, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts and if I will recommend it or not. Now, before we get to the pros and cons and the final thoughts of it, remember when I said that it was silent and we get to that later? Well, it's later. So let's jump into that. I'm gonna do a little small, sound test for you guys to hear so you can kind of get an idea of what it sounds like with this particular keyboard like i said for me just watch the listen to what's going on and you, you we'll, we'll talk about it you know what i'm saying So as you heard in the review, it's pretty quiet. 
it's not completely silent, but it's heavily and highly muted. And it's not quite to the deadening space that you, or deadening clicks that you would hear with the Sungwoo silent keyboard I reviewed a couple weeks ago. And if you missed that review, I'll link it in the card up here, in the, you know, and also be down in the description. Um, but it's very tactile and a whole lot quieter than your average keyboard. Um, I use a K95 Platinum as my normal keyboard and that mechanical keyboard click versus this is like night and day, literally, which is why I use that during the day and this during the night. So um, that's that. I also tossed in the mouse that comes with this because it's included, it's a bundle kit and you're gonna have it. It leaves a lot to be desired. I don't particularly use it. I haven't used it at all, actually, to be honest with you. I haven't used it since I got in the kit. Um, I purchased the kit primarily for the keyboard itself. I wanted to replace that Sungwoo keyboard I had, like I mentioned in that video, and this is what I was looking for. So I've tried out the mouse just to test it out because I needed to give you guys some feedback, but it's not something I use personally um, for a couple of reasons. A, I do not like the way it looks at all, nor do I like the way it feels, and B, I have the Vixing mouse, uh, same company, the other Vixing mouse that I reviewed last week. Um, that'll be in a card right here if you want to check that out. Um, that mouse paired with this keyboard actually might be the perfect combination, at least for me right now. Um, the mouse is quiet, it's not as quiet as a Shrocker CS10, which I explained that in that video, but it's quiet enough and paired with this keyboard, it makes a world of difference. Um, yeah so that's that anyway um overall that's about it so let's hit the pros and cons and then i'll give you the final review all right so let's start off with the cons first con would be a there's flex b there's no height adjustment whatsoever or anything c there's no indicator to differentiate it from the other style keys or rgb to help you find the keys at all so those are my three slash four things that I kind of don't like about the keyboard. Aside from that, let's switch over to the pros. So getting into the pros of it, it has fantastic, I wouldn't say fantastic, it has very, very good build quality. Although it does have that flex to it, it still has very good overall build quality. The keys are damn near silent for the most part. They're silent enough to where it negates a whole lot of other problems, which is why I'm using this and it is now my daily driver for nighttime gaming. Um, it also has four and a half out of five star reviews out of hundreds of reviews that people have made comments and all that stuff on Amazon. And speaking of Amazon, I picked it up from Amazon for $19.99, which I believe is the current price that it is right now on Amazon Prime. And if you do decide to pick it up, I will leave a link in the description and it is an affiliate link. It will help out the channel to help me bring more reviews to you guys. So I would appreciate it if you used it. And the last thing I would say is that silence is golden and absolutely priceless when it comes to your late night gaming and you don't have to worry about stilettos or any other foreign flying painful sharp object that might be coming your way because your partner is pissed off from hearing the clicks. You know who you are, you know what it feels like, so you know what I'm talking about. So that's it, that's, that's pretty much overall. So would I recommend this? keyboard um let me think about that hell yes absolutely freaking lootly i would recommend it i suggest you click on that link right now slide on over to amazon pick that bad boy up don't even think twice about it matter of fact pick up two or three and, and, and send them out to some friends that you know you know you know some people who are going to use this keyboard um so yeah that that's that like i said it's only 19.99 it's 20 bucks who ain't got 20 or 40 bucks you can just slide off real quick you know what i'm saying Anyway, um, that's it for this review. It's over, stick a fork in it, the fat lady singing, it's done. Um, I'm JB with Iconic Mods. Make sure you do all the normal stuff, like, subscribe, comment, you know, stalk me on Twitter. Um, and if you do all of that stuff right there, oh, and hit that notification bell. And if you do all of that stuff that I just mentioned right there, you'll get entered for the drawing for the Corsair giveaway that I'm doing right now. And if you missed that, video's linked up here. It'll also be in the description as well as what you need to do to get signed up because there's only a few weeks left to get engaged to get this Corsair giveaway. That's kind of what's on that screen behind me this whole video. Um, I am promoting this very heavily because this is my way of giving back to you guys. I am saying thank you. And I know this video's going on quite a while. I've been rambling, all this other stuff. So I'm gonna just shut up and get out of here. 
anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.